In this question, we want to figure out what the relationship is between these two compounds. And because they're drawn so differently with bonds kind of going in different directions, it's pretty hard to even tell if they're identical compounds, uh, if they're isomers, what they are. So let's go ahead and first um, just generate a basic uh, name, ignoring the stereochemistry for each of these compounds. So first we'll find, as always, our longest continuous carbon chain. In this case, we have this 8-carbon chain. All right, and in this other um, compound, hopefully you can see that, again, this is our longest chain. Okay, then if we number these, starting on the end closest to the first substituent. Get that one numbered like that, and this one numbered from left to right. Okay, so for both of these, um, we have an octane chain with methyl groups at carbons 3 and 4. So both have the general name 3,4-dimethyl octane. So we know um, they must be some sort of isomers or identical compounds. And we could start doing bond rotations or manipulations and try to make them look alike to see if they're identical or enantiomers or what they might be. But sometimes when we have a compound like this, it's easiest just to assign RS configurations to our chiral centers and then work from there. Okay, so we have chiral centers at carbons 3 and 4. Okay, so let's look at the stereochemistry around carbon 3 first. And if it helps, you can go ahead and draw in this hydrogen. It's pointing out. So hydrogen is our priority four group. Then we have a carbon connected to a CH3, a carbon connected to two other carbons, and just a CH3. So this carbon connected to two other carbons is going to be our priority one group. This carbon is our priority 2 group, and this methyl group is our priority 3 group. Okay, so now, as we normally did this, we would just flip this over um, so we get the priority gr 4 group pointing to the back. But there is a trick we can use. We can leave this priority 4 group pointing out and then just reverse the configuration that we think we have. So we go from 1 to 2. 2 to 3. We're going around to the right. It looks like R, but since priority 4 group is pointing out, it's actually S. Okay, so at carbon 3, we have S configuration. Okay, now let's do our stereochemistry around carbon 4. Okay, if it helps, 
we can draw in our hydrogen as a wedge pointing out okay and assigning our configurations here's our priority one group this would be our priority two group the methyl is our priority three group and the hydrogen's priority four we'll draw an arrow from one to two two to three Okay, so we're going around and it looks like R, but since H is pointing out, it's actually S. So at carbon 4, we have S configuration. So we have 3S, 4S. Okay, so this compound has the name. 3s comma 4s three four octane. Okay, so we can do similar assignments around both of these stereo centers in this compound. In this case, carbon 3, we have the hydrogen pointing back. Prioritize our groups. Priority 1, 2, 3, and 4. In this case, our hydrogen is pointing back, so we just take the configuration as we see it. Draw arrows 1 to 2, 2 to 3. This is going around to the right. So on carbon 3, that's our configuration. Okay, at this other stereo center, since we have two bonds in the plane, one bond pointing back, our hydrogen's pointing out. That's our priority four group. This would be our priority one group. This is our priority two group. Priority three. Going from one to two. Two to three. It looks like S, but since priority four is pointing out, it's actually R. So we have 4R. So this, the name of this compound, is 3R, 4R, 3, 4, dimethyl octane. Okay, so in this case, we have a perfect switch in configurations. At carbon 3, we go from S to R. At carbon number 4, we go from S to R. Since all of our stereo centers switch configurations, we can classify this pair of compounds as a pair of enantiomers. So rather than trying to manipulate the bonds or redraw the compounds, sometimes it's just easier to assign your configurations and see how they switch.